So him and his wife is doing this together yep. uh, because they fixed the problem together. Exactly. Exactly. So so let me so yeah. well, let me break that down. Yes. Tell, tell really me about the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like tell me everything about how you came up with the concept between the food, how you bring the people in, some of the some of the some of the people that y'all mm-hmm. had on the platform. Give us a little bit of insight of that. Okay, I'm gonna start off and then I'm gonna let her finish because she brings a lot of substance to this. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. I'm living the dream. Yeah. She took my addiction and flipped it in a way to where I can still live it out. You know what I'm saying? Without, let's say, penetration in a way. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, with that being said, I'm finna mix up two things, but y'all gonna follow me, man, because y'all quick on your feet. Okay, when the podcast was being developed, the show was being developed, mm-hmm. I saw Charleston. Mm-hmm. I'm in the halfway house. Okay. And I see him. I see the light. I see what's going on. He kept telling y'all, man, don't fall for the Mackin, man. And so I, I knew what was in him. Yeah, I knew yeah. what was in him. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, he got it. He got it. Mm-hmm. And I said, man, he the one. Mm-hmm. He the one. You, when the world, when he, you was fighting against the world when you was telling them, mm-hmm. man, don't fall for the Mackin. Mm-hmm. You trying to give it to him, you know, to help, so they can receive him. And he knew they couldn't hear. You know, though they have eyes, they can't hear. Though they have yeah, yeah, yeah. eyes, they can't see. Yep. Yeah, okay, so... I said, um, I'm going to start my podcast off with him. So when I went out and got all the content for just feminine liberation, being able to hear anything that a woman has to say and still be able to love her because at the end of the day, despite what we think, man, God's way is, man, unconditional love. Yes. Let me know your inner thoughts, man. This is unconditional. Yes. And, and, and that was real to me. So with that being said, when we when I put it together and she told me she wanted to do one and we linked together on the same idea, mm-hmm. she brought substance. She brought Mother Earth. She brought nurturing to it because she really studies the food. Mm-hmm. You know, because a lot of people don't know, she's allergic to a lot of foods anyway. Yeah. So she had to divulge into a, a healthy mm-hmm. path. Mm-hmm. So then she took that, mixed that in with my issues with sex, Okay, <laughs> and created That's natural aphrodisiac, mm-hmm. you know, to implement inside the food, yeah. you know, and then the benefit of all of that is she, she gets satisfied in the end. Period. Just like he say, man, I'm jumping out the top rope. Yeah. Ain't ain't no question. Hmm. Yeah, real shit. Hmm. Yeah. You know, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't. So they booked me for the podcast, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's how yeah. I end up going by Ti spot because they right around the corner from. from oh from, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm story. going, I'm going to go get them, not knowing I'm for the pass by Ti spot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when I get there, uh, yeah, that's when I find out. But man, they cooking food. This is a, this really is a sex kitchen. That's our kitchen X. So this yeah. is food to help you have better sex. Without the drugs, a natural from the ground, from the earth. Yeah. And so when I find out it's a couple, oh yeah, they had strippers and everything. Yeah, Stripper yeah. poles. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be down there. We better entertain. Yeah. So so yeah. So I found. <laughs> I'm gonna be kind down there. And then yeah, I, yeah, my, my house is a party. Yeah, oh man, I found out all the food. Stage, live life to the, the fullest. The stage like, got two stages no. in there. Stripper yeah, poles. Yeah. The real, yeah, real. Yeah. So I, I show up. Now, what, what days they don't have the cameras on? I don't know. Whatever listen. day you want to do Exactly. Yeah, Tell them again. Man. Whenever you say cut the camera, <laughs> cut the camera. Got that. That's the days I'm on. Period. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we can go down there and shoot some content, so, but then at the same so, time, we're going to so, have so, day so, homie, the so, homie, so listen. So, yeah. when I get there, when I find out, they done interview. <laughs> I'm just now finding out they got Stormy Daniels, but they got Cherokee, Pinky. Uh, what's the nigga name? Mark. Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus. They got everybody. Yeah. Mr. Marcus on there. They got yeah. everybody. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah J. Sarah J. Yeah. They yeah. got everybody and from that. Shout out to Mr. Marcus. Yeah, and, I, and, 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 and a lot of sure, new schools. Mr. Yeah. Marcus is yeah. definitely around for about yeah. two and a half decades. Yeah. What? Yeah. Thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> so they got everything. King what's up, baby? Wait, 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 yeah. wait. So y'all, y'all rocking out with Stormy over there, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Stormy, man. You know, her and Stormy had an intimate conversation. See, Stormy yeah. didn't really want to be on camera, so they, you know, they it's talk true. behind the really? scenes, and you know, certain things we'll divulge. You know, we'll show the footage of her and Stormy together, and what was said behind the scenes, man, it's real. You know, yeah. Definitely spoke on Trump as well. And they're very professional. That's yeah. what got me. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. you, when you driving that one? You know what I'm saying? When y'all gonna drop that kind of I got you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna let you know. We, it's coming out soon because yeah. hell, this is the time, right? Yeah, this is you it. Know what right I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of yeah. the day, you know, I he don't like for me to say like that, but Charleston really got the ship. You know, he'll be like, "Hey, man, put your." And I guess I'm rolling. You know, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Oh, you know? I, I I know good content, so I do every yeah. one like that all the time. Hey, look at yeah. he do. He calls yeah. me all the time. He gonna, he, 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 I know good. I'll content. be like, "Yo, let's do it." Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. 
you know, I don't, I don't even think. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just cook. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, nah, man. Because uh, I think I overthink. I, 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 I knew, I knew this was a great, if you want to say black hip hop urban love story. Yeah, it's true. Uh, uh, it all centers around the resiliency of this one black woman. Exactly. <laughs> The, the story seemed like it's more about her than it is. Yeah, it is. It no, is. it is. Yeah, she, it is. Yeah, yeah, she the yeah. star. Because she got, yeah. she, she got a dad. She yeah. got a. She was put where she is because of her father. Yeah. And meet a guy who her father does not approve. True the, 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 the traits of this guy. Yeah. yeah. It's just a turn off for her. Yeah. Uh, and then he conquers her. Uh, yeah, now, nah, man, she the one because she healed him. Yeah. yeah. So, let me, so let me ask you a question. You go down to Atlanta. Um... But you originally from Chicago. Yeah. What made you uh, pick Atlanta of all of the different places? My daddy was shipped there. Oh, so that's the reason why you went yeah. to Atlanta. I got yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. So then you go down to Atlanta, and what you think about the scene in Atlanta after leaving Chicago? I mean, at first, you know. Like, I, do, you, like do you see it as, like, okay, well, this, this is easy money down here? Or do you kind of just see it as, you know what, I'm just down here chilling because my dad is down here? No, nah, I, was, I was chilling. I was obedient. You know, I didn't move until he said move. Mm. You know what I mean? So, no, when I first got here, no, I was following orders. Because you just seem yeah. like a natural born hustler, in, in, just in a general sense. <sighs> she a boss's daughter. Mean, exactly. But that's what I'm it's saying. It's just, yeah. different. it's just inner. I'm glad you yeah. understand. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. inner. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It just yeah. seemed like it's inner. Yeah. And it ain't something that she got to try. Because you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you just, you know. Like, yeah. there's certain yeah. women that got it, and there's certain women that don't. That mm. don't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know. It's just in you. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm normal. I'm myself. Like, uh, you all, have you always been this way, though? <laughs> yeah. Always. Uh, I always felt different from everybody else. I always thought different from everybody else. Mm. Uh, I never fit in. You if know? you understand, uh, uh, now boss's daughters, uh, yeah. is some they. Now, if, if you listen to the undertone. No, I'm listening yeah, to it. He there, yeah. so bring my daughter down here. For her protection, mm -hmm. yeah. and she's in an establishment that's really hers. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. Play, listen, yeah. playing like a peasant. Yep. Yeah. But here's the here's the key mm -hmm. though. Mine, yeah. The one the <laughs> one thing that yeah. you wasn't supposed well, you know, to do, you, know. you did. It have I, we watched the movies. Mm -hmm. That's how it always go. I ain't yeah. never not seen the movie. That's what I'm saying, man. This was an urban slug. Yeah, and whether it's an Italian movie, whether it's the the Jews. And the, the blacks in the Harlem movie yeah, with, yeah. with yeah, what's what's that movie with Spike Lee? Yeah, don't uh, do yeah, I know. Yeah, what yeah. About. So yeah. It, that's it's always yeah. like that because yeah. this is what my uncle Wayne told me, and Uncle Wayne for to come home too, boy. Uh, and Uncle Wayne was a pimp. Uh, uncle Wayne told me if you don't want your daughter dating bad boys, don't tell her not to date bad boys.